Hi, my name is Trudy from Educated by Nature and WA Parks Foundation has invited me to come and show you what you can do in nature to help you grow in health and happiness. So today I'm going to show you how to build some cubbies in your backyard. So there's lots of things that you can use for cubby building. Today I've got some plastic outdoor chairs, an old um, washing hanger, step ladder um, and some rope and bed sheets. I've tied one end of the rope to a tree and I've put a tea towel around it, an old tea towel, to make sure that I protect the bark. Um, and it'd be great to get your parents to help you with this part. So one thing you can do for building cubbies is to use a rope between a veranda pole and a tree or two trees. And this way, this can be like the top of your roof and you can hang things from here. So I'm just going to finish tying this knot all right now the other great thing to use is pegs so we're going to peg up this old bed sheet i made sure it was an old bed sheet here onto these chairs and here these chairs will make a great wall and then i can use this rope to hang like hanging the washing to hang up the bed sheet to make the roof. You could use towels or blankets as well or even a tarp or a piece of plastic if you think it might rain to make it waterproof. Don't forget about windows and doorways and where you might like to put them. And I can peg up to these as well. One trick that I have with sheets is if you want to tie a knot onto it, tie the corner of your sheet into a knot like this, and then you can use things like shoelaces or ropes to tie around it and it won't slip off. So this is one cubby that I'm going to play with today. I'm gonna to put a wall at the back. I'm gonna attach it to these frames too. I'll show you now another cubby. Another great thing to build cubbies with is sticks. But if you don't have any sticks or can't find them from the local green waste collection or um, a park, you could use a broom, an outdoor broom or a plastic rake as well. These make great poles for cubbies. So what I've done here is I've got three of them and I'm going to make a sort of triangle shape on the ground and I'm going to tie a shoelace or you can use string or rope around all these things. I'm going to do a double knot to start with and then I will wind the long tail around the sticks in lots of different ways, weaving it in and out, going around and up and down as well, and keeping it pulled tight as I go to make this a really, really strong lashing around these sticks. And then I'll get the little tail at the end and tie another double knot to finish it off. Now, when I stand these things up, they should hopefully make a bit of a TP shape and a stable tripod. All right, but that's gonna be a bit of a small cubby. I could leave it like that, but I'm going to stretch it out with this PVC pipe, which I'm gonna put through this fork in my cubby house. I'm gonna tie it on to the top here. And another knot. All right. So that's going to be good. Now I want this one to look like I'm out in the wild. So I'm going to take this log here for a seat. And I've got these palm leaves that we trimmed off our tree on the weekend. So I'm going to put these as like the back wall and lean these up against the pipe to make a jungle kind of backdrop. All right. And a few more up here. How does that look? Oh, this is gonna be looking comfy. All right, I've also got a bed sheet and you know how I made that knot before? I'm going to attach it to the top to make myself a door. So I've got a shoelace, I'm gonna wind around this knot a couple of times and then tie a double knot here and then I'll attach it to these sticks. It's getting windy, so I'm going to take the corner of my bed sheet and put this paver on it to weigh it down. So remember to refresh your senses and celebrate health and happiness 
while spending time in nature.